Let us look at the periodic table. Do you observe that different regions are colored differently? Actually, the different colors refer to the different types of elements. The elements are thus of three types. They are metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. In childhood, we studied those metals are the substances that are good conductors of heat and electricity, and nonmetals are the substances that are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Now, let us learn about metals and nonmetals in terms of electrons. Metals are the elements, the atoms of which can donate electrons, and nonmetals are the elements that can accept electrons. Usually, metals are placed on the left side of the periodic table. As we go from left to right, the nonmetallic character increases. Metals and nonmetals can be further classified. Metals can be classified into alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, transition metals, post transition metals, lanthanides, and actinides. And, what are nonmetals classified into? The nonmetals are classified into halogens, noble gases, calcogens, and other nonmetals. Let us now study the properties of metals, followed by that of nonmetals. The properties of metals are Metals, as already discussed, are good conductors of heat and electricity. Metals are shiny and lustrous. Metals are usually solid at room temperature except for mercury, which is liquid at room temperature. Metals usually have high melting and boiling points. Metals are malleable and ductile. And, the properties of nonmetals are. Nonmetals are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Nonmetals are dull and brittle. Nonmetals are usually gaseous at room temperature, with few exceptions. Thus, nonmetals usually have low melting and boiling points. Nonmetals are non malleable and non ductile. However, interestingly, graphite, one of the allotropes of carbon, is a conductor of electricity. Also, diamond, which is another allotrope of carbon, is the hardest substance known to the world. Now, what are metalloids? Metalloids are substances that show the properties of both metals and nonmetals. Metalloids thus can conduct electricity under certain conditions. Hence, they are used as semiconductors. Semiconductors are used as electronic parts in laptops, smartphones, etc. The metalloids present in the periodic table are boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, and tellurium. Metalloids are brittle but non-ductile. Alright, this was about metals, non-metals, and metalloids.